I remember his name, but he talked about um, facing the storm, talking about how his um, kid was like really young and they had to um, do this uh, brain surgery on him. And like pretty much if he went into the surgery, there was a big chance he wasn't going to make it back. He did. It made me think about like how easy it is for things to go bad and like how you have to keep moving on. This kind of touched me about like what he had to go through and how he had to keep going no matter what happened. So, and my favorite speaker was the guy that was just on um, after loss and found, what was his name? Yeah, Bob Lenz, that was it. Bob Lenz had some really cool things to talk about. Uh, Jeffrey Menz, I think was his name. He was really funny. He, like I wasn't bored with him and I was actually like paying attention to what he was saying and he was entertaining. Bob Lenz, he was a phenomenal speaker. He spoke right to you. And uh, he, 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 he showed us how society can be flawed very easily and how you know we as guys need to take back the word gentleman because mostly when you see the word gentleman it's on a strip club and that's not something that you know we like um, but also he had a mentally handicapped sister and when he brought her on stage to sing with him that that was very 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 touching right then and there. He talked about hitting the wall like basically hitting a wall of like life and stuff like that and I realized that I'm just starting to get over that wall type of thing. I had just gotten done hitting my wall. And I realized that like a few things that he had said had to do with my life. So I felt like God was pushing me towards that so that I could realize that God was there to help me out. He was the first one we went to um, for the breakout sessions. And the title of his um, speech was called Hitting a Wall. And I liked him because he had a good energy. He was funny. He talked really fast, and he told us like a whole bunch of stories, and he made it all connect down to the point you think you cannot go any farther at all. Like God will be there to help you through and just guide you along the way. My favorite speaker was Bob Lenz, and he has a funny way of approaching certain topics. And then he, um, but he also shares some personal stories and some things maybe that happened when he was younger that he's not so proud. Bob once because he said what he wanted to say. He got what he wanted to say out there and he was real about everything. He spoke from the heart. It was definitely different. Bob Lenz and because even though like he was talking about really serious things, he kinda added something in there that made it a little bit comedic and like happy. So you didn't feel sad all the time or like somebody was just telling you that you have to do right. Favorite speaker was definitely Bob Lenz. I, he was a great speaker. I was tired and I still couldn't take my attention off him. It was he brought his sister out and everyone just went crazy cheering and everything. It was awesome. I don't know how else to put it. My favorite concert was Stellar Cart because they are my favorite band. I sang the song that I listen to when I'm upset or down. We went to see Remedy Drive. They were pretty good. They were a little loud, but that, like, I like them. Um, I only went to one, I went to Remedy Drive, and that one was really, it was really cool because they were high energy and I like to get the crowd involved. Um, my friend, Gregory Bruick, um, he kept trying to get me to add their group, and I'm like, I don't even know who these people are. I don't have sound at home. I can't look them up on YouTube. So I thought it was pretty cool that I actually got to see them. And I really liked um, how they were really into it. Uh, my favorite concert was probably Stellar Cart because it was just like lighting and how crazy everyone was. And it was just a really good concert. We were going crazy. My favorite concert was the Andrew Wick concert because um, we got front row seats and he had a lot of good music and a couple members of the band were pretty cute. Well, we only went to Remedy Drive, but they were really good because they were entertaining to watch and he was crazy and was like flipping him off the stage and like standing on top of the amps and stuff. My favorite concert was Lost and Found. Lost and Found was hilarious, so that's why they're my favorite. My favorite concert was Andrew Witt and because uh, 
I didn't really know him before we went on the camp, went on the thing, and he was really good and he was like really nice and like he got to know like the crowd and everything. And he actually talked to them. I would say I've gotten closer. It's made me feel closer to him and that I can go to him in times of good and bad. I feel like every time I go to something like this, whether it's the National Youth Gathering or Acquire the Fire or different councils, I just feel like every time I go, I get closer to Jesus. Like, it's not that I was far away to begin with, it's just I'm just taking a step forward every time I go to something like this. This experience changed my relationship with Jesus in, in many, many ways, especially in the Bible studies. When you were there, you, I had I felt a couple times where they weren't connecting with me. So I'd look down at the Bible and I'd, I'd read a little bit more into it. And as you read into the Bible, right in the passages that they talk about, you, you really would start to see what God was trying to tell you in the Bible study. I'm more open to Him. And I trust more in myself and, and Him. I think it's changed my relationship with Jesus like completely. It just has. It just kind of sets up. Yes, it has. I definitely want to be closer to him and do more. Like I noticed I haven't been doing enough for him and being with him and praying and stuff. So I think it brought me a lot closer to him. I think it's changed my relationship with Jesus because I take things a little more seriously now. I could look at things in a different way. It's actually changed a lot because I went down there not really reading the Bible type of thing, but when we went on a cruise over the Mississippi, I was actually reading my Bible because I felt like, I, I felt upset still from when Ryan caught that pig. I felt like God was pushing me towards the Bible because it, like, I, went, I went to open up my bag and it was sitting on top. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll just read this because I was going to pull out something to draw with but the Bible was sitting on top, so I was like, okay, I'll start. The bus ride, actually, um, that was a lot of fun. At, like, on the ride down there, I didn't really want to talk to anybody, get to know anybody, because I'm kind of sort of a little bit shy, but then again, I'm not really. <laughs> but like on the way back, I got to talk to a few people, I got to know them a little bit. Probably like hanging out in my hotel room with the people I was rooming with. Just laughing about really random things. So we were so tired. Um, the mass events, and then probably the people I went with, and the moments we had there, and the moments we shared together. I think my four roommates, because I don't know, they're really nice. And even when we were outside of our rooms with the rest of the groups, and like just our group, eh, we seemed to grow a little bit more together. All the people I met, I would say, like, you'd never think, like, I always picture that kids that go to church aren't always, like, the coolest, but these kids were some of the coolest kids I've ever met. I guess the bus ride. <laughs> Probably just, like, like, the mass events were, like, unforgettable and getting closer with everyone else and, like, I don't know, reaching out to God. Probably the mass events and a lot of the speakers because they talked about a lot of stuff that like I was thinking about and didn't really know about and they kind of cleared it up for me and I think like I know like why I'm here when before I didn't know like really I was just kind of living and I kind of know more why I'm here and how I need to live. It's probably the friendships I've made. I, I learned, I met probably a thousand people down there. It was phenomenal. You could not end up not meeting people and every time you meet somebody you learn something new and it's just really fun to meet new people.